Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith's Dream Crate, and welcome back to my channel. You are watching my Christmas card series for 2021. I'm going to be using this stamp set from Avery L, and it is called Nutcrackers. So let's go ahead and jump right into the card. First, I'm going to be blending my background and getting that ready. And I'm going to be using Distressed Oxide inks. So I'm using two different colors here in purple, and I'm going to blend these together to create an ombre effect. And I actually ended up creating two different cards two different cards that were the same but in different colors so i did red and teal and if you want to see those definitely head on over to instagram i'm going to have those shared there my instagram account is faith to create and i will have it also linked down below in the description box so now that the ink blending is all done i'm just adding some water effects to this and watching it react with the oxide inks i love this it just looks like a galaxy or something coming together it's just so beautiful and it's probably like one of my favorite techniques so making sure that is all dry so that i can go ahead and go on to the next step so i'm using the anti-static tool there because I'm going to do some embossing. So I'm taking the Simon's Stamp Clear Embossing Ink and just inking it up around the edges. And then I'm using the Simon's Stamp Gold Embossing Powder and just spreading it out over that embossing ink that I just created the border with. So funneling that back in, and then I'm gonna bring up the heat tool and melt this. And I just love this effect. It gives you a fun border that is sparkly and shiny, and it just adds a fun effect. And I think it looks so beautiful with the background as well so fun and elegant and shiny and then i just go ahead and add a little bit more of that ink and then add a little bit more of the embossing just to fix a few of the areas i didn't need it to be perfect i didn't want the border to be perfect i got into wanted it to be a little bit funky a little bit edgy a little bit yeah not completely perfect just bringing in that element of fun that element of shine something different for the card so once that was all heat set and ready I go on to the next part so I did end up stamping this out there is three nutcrackers I did end up stamping them out and I used them on each of them on the different cards that I created I made ten of these cards um, for my mother-in-law, she collects nutcrackers and she loves them. So when I saw this stamp set, I knew that I really wanted to create a, a set of cards for her for a Christmas present. And I created a few more here and there as well as I played with this set, but I created 10 with this design in mind, just switching up the colors. So you can go ahead and go on over to Instagram and see that. But while I am doing the coloring of this nutcracker, I just want to go ahead and say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for all of my recent subscribers. I am so grateful. I love sharing what I love to do with you and inspiring you in this crafting journey. And I just, if you are not a subscriber, definitely hit that subscriber button and turn on the notifications so that you know when I upload next. I have a lot of great ideas. I have some new stamps that I want to share with you. And I have some content already filmed that I can go ahead and edit soon and hopefully bring it to you soon in the new year. And I would also love to bring back the Recycle With Me series that I used to have on my channel. I've been saving some things, so I'd like to get that out and do that. So definitely hit that subscriber button if you are not already. And I just, yeah, just have a Merry Christmas. And I hope that it is peaceful and wonderful. And yes, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so just adding in some details with the white gel pen. And then I went ahead and used my Big Shot machine with the coordinating dies. I don't usually pick up the coordinating dies, but because I was going to be creating a bunch of these, I did. Um, I actually had like a bunch of them like lined up. And at one point it's like, this is my Nutcracker army. <laughs> so it was very fun. Definitely not too difficult to fussy cut out, but the dies were definitely needed because I was creating a bunch of them. 
So then I'm going ahead and doing the sentiment. I'm going to be stamping on black. So I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink again, and then the Simon Says Stamp White Embossing Powder to do this and heat set it. Yes. So while I'm going ahead and doing this, I will read you the sentiments from this stamp set. I end up doing Parumpa Pum Pum, have a nutcracking Christmas, but there's also wishing you a cracking Christmas, and tis the season to be nutty, and oh nuts. And then it also comes with the different nuts and the sword and different accessories to add on. So it's very funny, very fun. And you could totally mix and match these sentiments like I did as well. I added the Pahrumpa Pum Pum and the Have a Nut Cracking Christmas. So just heat setting those and getting it all melted. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this to the card. And then that will finish up the card. So super fun background, a little bit of coloring, a sentiment, and the gold frame. So just cutting these sentiments down getting them ready okay so just getting those sentiments adhered down and I'm going to be using the Xyron sticker maker to do this it was perfect because both of these sentiment strips fit through at the same time mm -hmm. So I'm putting Parumpa Pum Pum on the top and then have a Nutcracking Christmas on the bottom. And then once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and put the Nutcracker through the Xyron sticker maker as well. He fit through, which was perfect. So super simple. And that is going to finish up the card. I'm going to show it to you all sparkly. I just love how the embossing powder reacts when it hits the light so thank you so much for watching today's video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing i'd love to have you join me here as i share inspiration and what i love to do i'll see you in the next video bye for now